And uh, he had a bit of a moan about the qualification procedure, but after his uh, win over Adrian Lewis this afternoon, where he banged in six legs in a row, having been 2 0 down, he actually said he feels that being here on Thursday night, playing two qualifying games there, and then in the first round on Friday, he actually feels being here does actually help him and he feels more focused tonight. Well, I'll remember that one and I'll tell the company <laughs> that Raymond actually praised us up for once. The, the thing is, Mike, that, you know, just quickly on the criteria, everyone knows what the criteria is, not just at the beginning of the year, from last year, as Barney puts two in, kicks off the seventh match in this tournament with a maximum. Everybody knows the criteria, you know, and you know a year in advance, sometimes two years in advance when we change rules and regulations. So, um, you know, if you're not in the tournament, it's because you've either not played enough tournaments or you're just not good enough. And with Barney, it's just that he hasn't played enough tournaments because he's certainly good enough. And yes, Adrian Lewis went 2-0 up this afternoon in the third round match, but then, as I mentioned, Raymond knocking off six legs in a row to book his place in the last eight here. Ronnie Baxter, after seeing off uh, Dimitri Vandenberg, he then beat uh, the number seven seed, Jamie Caven, 6-4 in the second round and edged out Mervyn King, 6-5, as Barney needs double five. Well, that would have been for a breaker throw, but Baxter coming back for 77. Double 10 now. Oh, superb darts from Roddy Baxter, a 14 dart leg. And we talked about, you know, you're going to have to throw a 12 dart to break. I and mean, this sort of match, and, and Barney's one dart at that double for a 12 darter. Could have made all the difference as well to the, to the match. Raymond will be in Liverpool on Thursday night for the opener of the Premier League for 2014. And uh, Gary Anderson, his first opponent of the night, as he bangs in another 1080. Well, the form of both these players coming into this match has been electrifying, so we said it was going to be a great game. On the start of these two legs, it's certainly going to live up to that. But a visit without a treble. Wow. Oh, that could hurt Raymond. A little smile. You don't see Raymond smile very often, but you see a smile there. But I tell you what, a 140 here for Baxter. Or even the straight ton will do him. He kind of let Raymond off there without hitting the treble. So he'll be back for double top unless Baxter can take out this big out shot. We saw him take out a number of big out shots in his opening round match. about Raymond Finnell happy because he'd, he'd come in on the Thursday now I believe and I've said it for a long time that I, I do believe Raymond needs to get back to a little bit of grassroots in as much as our Pro Tour events because he plays all the TV events which are most of them are long formats this best of 11 is very quick this is where you learn and keep your edge because you have to be on the ball from the first leg we're in a best of 
11 sets, five legs a set. Ah, if I lose the first set, who cares? Here, you can't do that. And if he got back to playing them Pro Tour events and, and looking at his schedule so, you know, it works out better for him, I'm sure he will get that fine edge back that made him a five times world champion. Well, that's his third 180 of the match. As he looks to kick off 2014 with his first piece of uh, silverware. Well, that's good thinking. Percentage play from Barneveld. The 25 guarantees him a dart at the double instead of a dart at the bullseye. Possibly two darts at the double eight. So a chance there gone for Barney to break the throw. Double top then for 2-1. So that double 18 again then, needed for Barney. Double nine, here we go. No one has hit that today. We've been keeping a tally. No one could ever say on the Facebook, Twitter or anything, I don't know what I'm talking about with that double nine. Proof is in the double nine, but Proof is in the double ten for Ronnie Baxter. And he got led off there by Barney. Massive chance there for Barney. Let Baxter off to get that throw. And as he said over this short format, those sort of turning points can really be crucial over just the best of 11 legs. Here's Baxter with his own taste of a 180 called by the gravel-voiced Russ Bray. Well, certainly Baxter in command in this leg. Barney yet to hit a treble in this leg. Well, that's the first one, and he's taken in the tenth dart to do it. Well, one, two, four for Baxter. Doesn't need to go to bullseye route. Going to get six darts from here, so he'll stay on the treble 20. Doesn't need to go the 18s route. Leaves 84, still stay on the treble 20. Kambani put some pressure on Baxter's shot. He can indeed with a ton 40. So for a break of throw here. Double 11. Well, another let off. Be interesting to see what way he goes, Mike. He'll go bullseye 25, or he's going for the 20s. Could even go treble 18. No, he's gone the sensible way. That leaves him a double five to hang on to his throw. Oh, right on the corner. So, double 11 then for a 3 1 lead. Three for double four. Nervy moments early on in this quarter final of the German Darts Championship. One shot, two shot, and at the third attempt, Raymond van Barneveld 
brings us all square yet again to two apiece. Uh, certainly backs to let Barneveld off then and that was an incredible third dart because from where we were sitting looking at our screen I couldn't see how we could get to that double five Surely pinched the right hand corner of it surely he's going to switch a little bit of frustration coming into Barneveld's demeanor first dart is getting too high on the treble 20 this is where Baxter's got to punish him There we have it again, the dart too high. This time he is switching. A great view there of Barney's stance. At the Oki. And fairly evenly matched in this uh, leg. Barney playing on the 19s to hopefully leave an out shot but uh, not to be. The 170 was what he was hoping to leave, and no outshot, though, from Baxter from 162. Well, like the previous leg, Barnveld's a long way off. Baxter should get two darts a double top. Oh, catches the treble 18, so he'll go for the 25. The last thing he wants to hit is the bullseye. Is it the 25 double top? Can he hit a double? He can this time, and he opens his hands up to say, how can I hit that first dart in the previous leg? Had a couple of mitfalls and uh, not got anywhere near it. Yes, it'll be Barnavell or Baxter against Ian White or Gary Anderson wow. in our second semi-final. Yellow Klassen against Justin Pipe. That's our first semi-final that we know of. Wow. And that certainly gives Baxter the edge and puts Barnavell under pressure. And that's not the score that Barnevelt wanted. So now Baxter going to have at least six darts from here to take a break of throw. And the last three legs, Barnevelt has been around about the 200 mark when Baxter's just above the 100. Could fill it up to leave the double 19, though. That's exactly what he's done from being literally dead and buried in leg. In the leg fires in to take the advantage straight at it or the big six double <laughs> 16 Mike this is the conundrum I reckon he's going to go straight for it yeah and that's a good guide he'll bounce this in bounce it in now well how one of those didn't get in I don't know well thrown darts, but a chance here for Baxter to break the throw. Well, another big turning point in the game, you'd feel. And Baxter with the darts and kicking off with a ton 40. Needing just two more legs for victory. And Barney needs to wow. find that range on the treble 20 fairly quickly. If he's to continue his good run this weekend in this tournament. 
Well, in the previous game against Adrian Lewis, as the game went on, Barney certainly scoring got stronger, didn't it? Um, but this time, it's 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 going off the boil. And Baxter has now got to jump on it. Great time to pick off a maximum to leave a 1-2-5 out shot, but Baxter is coming back here with a great shot of his own to leave a two-dart finish when he comes back if Barney can't take this out. Yep, it's in the 25, Raymond. So 60 for double top. 65. To go to within one leg of victory. Double 16. Double eight now for Baxter. Baxter, a man on a mission in this tournament, has played absolutely brilliantly from the first darts that he threw on this stage against Dimitri van der Berg, the young Belgian. And he's certainly taking the game to a world champion in Raymond van Barneveld. Perhaps these long days are starting to tell on Raymond certainly the difference is you know, he's starting to pitch the darts on the top of the wire and uh, that's not a good dart for him crowd thought that was in but Russ Bray had a good look at it and confirmed just the ton 40 yes Raymond is someone who's had to have a look at his diet and his fitness as a diabetic I don't know en energy levels over a long day will be something that could be a factor Ronnie Baxter's been a diabetic for I think 25-30 years and uh, certainly he's never had much of a trouble with uh, keeping the stamina up. That's a lot of other people. I know there are different types of diabetes, I realise that. It is managing it. Well, this has got to be a must for Raymond van Barneveld because the way Baxter's playing, you've got to fancy him for the 80. Double 16 and just on the outside wire. And like I said, Mike, you fancy Baxter to take this out because he's been so clinical for most parts of this match on the doubles. Ronnie Baxter continues his great run in this uh, weekend's uh, German Darts Championship to end uh, Raymond van Barneveld's hopes. So Ronnie Baxter will be taking part in tonight's second semi-final. He'll be playing either Ian White or Gary Anderson. That will be the next quarter.